Welcome back to the Many Myths and Legends series. We're back for another GTA because, well, these games really are the go-to when it comes to gaming myths. And, uh, it's pretty relevant considering the recent GTA 6 leaks. Don't worry, if that game ever does come out, we'll be diving into those myths too, but that's years off, I'm sure. So today, I thought we'd look at the next in line, GTA 5, the game that never dies. And of course this one has a trove of myths and absolutely insane easter eggs, some that have only recently been discovered. So let's take a look at the many myths and legends of Grand Theft Auto V. Mount Gordo Ghost At the peak of Mount Gordo, there is a ghost that can be seen by the player between 11 and 1 a.m. And this is actually true, and a strange and creepy easter egg put in by Rockstar, most likely as a nod to all of the ghost myths from previous games. This translucent ghost is actually a woman named Jolene Cranley Evans, as she is described in an in-game newspaper article as the wife of a famous stuntman named Jock Cranley, who actually murdered Jolene by pushing her off of the mountain, which is why she still haunts the location to this day. Atlantis. This is a myth dating back to before the game's release, as some people noticed in one of the gameplay screenshots, there was a submarine as well as some sort of destroyed building underwater, which led some people to think that this could possibly be from a ruined underwater city, such as Atlantis. However, this myth was quickly debunked when the game launched, as players found out that this building was not even a building at all, but rather a part of a freighter. Lizard Man A kind of obscure one here, the Lizard Man is an entity that is mentioned by the character Ron, who you might remember from Trevor's missions, who on a talk show references this creature which is another real-life urban legend from the United States, usually said to be found in South Carolina. And there is also a similar San Andreas myth, so it could be a reference to that, but besides this brief mention, there is no proof of the Lizard Man's existence. Ghost Truck Another one that's more of a glitch than an easter egg, or even a myth really. I'm pretty sure this only happens mostly on the old versions of the game, on the 360 and PS3, where there can be seen armored trucks and I guess other cars driving with seemingly no driver. But yeah, just a glitch, not too much else to say about this one. Strange Mechanic so the mechanic is an NPC and character who would appear in GTA Online and would deliver your cars to you at any location if you called him. However, this NPC was known to behave rather strangely, so much so that he was actually removed from GTA Online entirely. Because for some reason, the mechanic was sometimes aggressive and hostile towards the player, even going as far as to attack them on occasion. When delivering the player's vehicle, he would also crash it and damage it before handing it over, and would sometimes even just keep driving past the player entirely, and if you would try to take it back from him, he would become hostile, and you could actually kill him. You could still call him right after, but it was still kind of strange. It's unknown if the way this AI was programmed was a glitch, or if they meant for him to act this way, but he was most likely just very buggy because in the Valentine's Day Massacre update, he was removed from the game. You can still call him to drop off your cars, but now they just spawn near the player without this NPC involved. Ratman And he's back, the infamous Ratman. However, this myth is a lot less prevalent than it was in GTA 4. Still, he has been said to be spotted a few times in the maintenance tunnels and under various freeways around Los Santos. There's not much in the way of proof of this creature, however, in the tunnels there are some strange sounds that can be heard occasionally, such as laughing, footsteps, and breathing, which some attribute to Ratman. Phantoms now this one strangely is actually true. For some reason in the game there can be found these so-called phantoms, 
which are kind of just small whirling patches of smoke or mist that can be found at various areas around the map, and it's unclear what these really are, although it's believed that they could be graphical bugs originating from vehicles such as cars or planes in the area, but this smoke looking texture is said to be quite different from the other smoke textures that appear in the game. Which is strange, and if it is some sort of glitch, it has never been patched out of the game. Kraken This is another really iconic real life myth of a giant octopus that is also said to be located in the waters surrounding Los Santos, usually said to be found in the deepest waters, where there have been plenty of claims in regards to this monster. However, there really isn't any solid proof of its existence. There have been myth hunters who scoured the ocean, even using cheats to go as far deep as you can in the water before being teleported to the surface, but still, nothing has really come of it. Only hoaxes and rumors. Possessed Dock Tug This is a pretty strange myth involving a certain dock worker at the Los Santos airport, who appears to be possessed as can be seen in a video from 2015 where a worker takes a dock tug and seemingly leaves the airport area, even though this is a very strange occurrence for this type of NPC. And in the video we can see the dock tug driving erratically, with the worker even crashing the vehicle and attacking the player. Although this is pretty strange, this is most likely just some sort of glitched AI. Goatman. Yet another strange cryptid inspired by a real life urban legend, this creature, said to be a goat human hybrid, is a pretty popular myth not only in this game but also in the United States, particularly in Kentucky, Maryland, and Texas. And surprisingly, there are quite a few hints to the existence of the cryptid in the game. For one, he is said to be found around or under bridges, which is also where he is typically said to be spotted in real life. And there are many alleged sightings of the creature in the game. However, these are most likely hoaxes. But that's not all there is to this myth. As throughout the map, there are many references to strange, seemingly demonic goat heads, possibly related to the altruist cult. Some also claim they experience something like panic in the woods when venturing out into the wilderness, which is basically an eerie feeling of panic when you've been separated from civilization, which can lead to deafening buzzing sounds due to the overwhelming paranoia and fear. This is a whole different myth, but some claim this could be related to the Goatman, as this creature is said to cause similar effects. Or it could simply be some sort of bug, or they could both just be rumors and urban legends. Still a pretty fun myth. North Yankton Creature Now, some of you might know about this already, but this one is 100% real, at least in the form of an easter egg. Because in the prologue mission of the game, when you are fleeing from the police, if you pull over to a certain spot on the side of the road, and walk over to this particular piece of ice, you will see a strange alien creature frozen inside. You also do see these aliens at other parts of the game, such as in costumes on the Hollywood set, and also during hallucination segments with Michael. And even when you return to North Yankton many years later in the mission Bury the Hatchet, the alien can still be found frozen in the lake. Now, some have claimed to have encountered more of these creatures in North Yankton, roaming around in the foggy areas of the map, as this section of the game is inaccessible for most of it, but sadly there aren't any more aliens walking around, at least as far as we know. Slenderman Oh boy, yep. Our boy Slenderman. I mean, you can't really blame people for thinking or wanting him to be in this game, because during that time when this game was being made, all the way up until its eventual release in 2013, I can remember Slenderman being a huge deal. One of the biggest mythological and creepypasta creatures of that era. And so, some have claimed to have encountered him stalking them, or even seen him in the forested areas of the map 
However, these claims are false. Although there are some pretty good hoaxes and mods that have been made of the character. Strange Howling. This one is pretty self-explanatory, and basically a timeless myth found in just about every Rockstar game. Although sometimes these turn out to be true, but with this one I'm not so sure. As on Mount Chiliad and around Polito Forest and Blaine County, there can be sometimes heard a strange howling sound, with no identifiable source for the noises. Although apparently despite not having wolves in the base game, there are sound files for them in the game, so that's what this could be. CJ's Ghost Okay, now this is just weird, and you're probably thinking, well, this is obviously not real, but hold on, hear me out. Now, there are a ton of easter eggs to CJ and San Andreas as a whole, which makes sense. I mean, you can literally go to Grove Street. And in one of the missions called Hood Safari with Franklin, Trevor, and Lamar, you do just that. And on the way, three particular individuals can be found riding bikes. Yeah, it looks like CJ, Smoke, and Ryder. Not really ghosts, I guess, it's just an easter egg, but it's still really cool. Hellhounds This is a myth that's found in almost every 3D GTA game, so it's no surprise it's here too. Especially since there are dogs in this game, and some believe that these aggressive, beast-like dogs are actually in this game, known as Hellhounds, who are aggressive and hostile towards the player. Said to be found mostly on or around Mount Chiliad. Although, these are most likely just regular dogs or other animals, as a lot of them are hostile towards the player already. The Infinity Killer this refers to a very strange and cryptic character in GTA V, a serial killer called the Infinity Killer, who murdered 8 people prior to when the game takes place, which are known as the Infinity Murders, which were carried out in 1999 by a man called Merle Abrams, due to his strange obsession with Infinity and the number 8, which is how he got his nickname. And throughout the game, you can find many clues as to what happened as well as even the bodies of his victims. And there is even a strange rhyme which can be found on a rock nearby the killer's house, which was written by him. And there is a lot more to this, including other clues like fire pits, bodies, footprints, and newspaper clippings, one of which shows he died in prison in 2004. And yeah, this whole thing is real and a really interesting and creepy mystery created by Rockstar. Charles Manson This one is pretty creepy, and is true. While Charles Manson might not physically appear in the game, there is a pretty disturbing easter egg that is definitely in reference to real life murders that were committed by his cult. Because in the Vinewood Hills there can be found a house that sometimes will have a party going on at it, and a strange piece of graffiti pointing to the house with the numbers 1807, which could be another reference to Manson. But the weirdest part is that if you go over to this house and bump into the people at the party, they just fall over and die. Not like fall over and get back up, but actually just collapse dead. Really a weird easter egg. Mothman Ah, Mothman. He's back once again. One of the most famous myths in not just real life, but San Andreas as well. So it's not too surprising that this legend carried over to this game. Some claim to have seen it on top of bridges or in cemeteries, but there is no proof of his existence in the actual game, sadly. Although a mod was created of the legend, where he can be found at the Hill Valley Church. Atmospheric Anomalies this myth, also known as sky beasts, are strange creatures that supposedly can be seen flying in the sky that are kind of hard to describe, and are sometimes reported as different things, hence the name atmospheric anomalies, as some report seeing jellyfish-like creatures, while others see things that just look like glitched textures, and others report just seeing strangely shaped and moving clouds. 
and some also believe that they could be related to UFOs. Don't worry, we'll get to that in its own entry, because there's a lot to unpack there. But in regards to these anomalies, or sky beasts, there isn't too much in the way of evidence. Werewolf. Now, strangely in a way, this one is real. At least in GTA Online. Not even as an easter egg, but as a free mode update, seemingly inspired by the 80s film Teen Wolf. And it's introduced as a game mode in which a player controls the beast, aka the werewolf, which the other players have to kill, with the mode being called Hunt the Beast. And also, since the director mode update, you can actually find and fight the beast in GTA 5 by collecting 7 golden peyote plants in a pretty strange and complex easter egg. We'll get into that a little later. The Drifter this alleged myth and NPC is said to be found in the Gran Sonora Desert, roaming at night, seen dressed in a black trench coat, pants, and a hat, wielding a shotgun. Kind of similar to the Mr. Trenchcoat myth from San Andreas, although this NPC was said to attack the player on sight. And there have been a few sightings of him out in the desert, although it's believed that this person is actually just a police officer whose clothes looked black because of it being dark outside. UFOs Now, UFOs, much like in real life, are some of the biggest myths out there in the GTA games. But in this game, they really took it up a notch, most likely as a nod to the myth-hunting community. As UFOs aren't just a myth, but can actually be seen at numerous points in the game, you can find a sunken UFO on the northern coast of San Andreas, and after completing the game to 100%, you can find three different UFOs. One at Fort Zancudo, another at Beam Me Up, and the last one at Mount Chiliad. Also, besides that, there are many other references to UFOs and aliens throughout the game, some of which we've already touched on. But even still, some report seeing other UFOs in the sky, typically at night, even without the game being 100%ed, which are said to be seen above the Gran Sonora Desert and Fort Zancudo, but these are most likely just hoaxes. Ghost Train And here we have yet another proven myth, although not so much a myth, more like a glitch. Kind of disappointing to hear that, I know, but it's still kind of interesting. In both GTA Online and the base game, sometimes there can be seen train cars moving along the tracks with no actual locomotive. And usually on the same track, a regular train will eventually catch up to these lone cars and go right through them, which is kind of strange, because usually nothing can stop a train in this game. The Jackal Another myth similar to that of the Hellhounds and Chupacabra, this creature is said to be found in the mountain ranges and the Gran Sonora Desert, and is reported as being a dog-like creature with red eyes that, if encountered by the player, will attack and kill them on sight. It's also said to make demonic-like sounds when it is nearby. However, despite some investigations and some reports and sightings, it seems this creature isn't real. Most of the sounds can be attributed to dogs or other creature sounds which can be played randomly, and the accounts of people being attacked by this creature have no evidence sadly. Destructive Airplanes Despite this being a thing in San Andreas, it also happens sometimes in GTA 5, although much less frequently. And of course it's simply a glitch, although it can be momentarily kind of jarring to see it happen. Usually, it only occurs when switching between characters, or for some reason sometimes by Michael's house, most likely due to the geometry in that part of the map. Although the pilots in these planes usually will reroute in order to avoid objects, unlike the planes in San Andreas. Swamp Monster This is yet another real-life urban legend and creature that has made its way into GTA Mythos. And this swamp monster, as it's called, is supposedly found in a swamp near Fort Zancudo, and it's described as a grayish creature that is similar to that of Sasquatch, although it crawls on four legs. And strangely, a lot of the sightings here can actually be explained, at least somewhat. 
as it was discovered that there was a rather odd glitch which would occur to deer in that area, where for some reason some deer would spawn in using the soldier push-up animation, causing a pretty strange scene, which some may have confused for the monster. Jetpack The jetpack is an iconic GTA vehicle most prominently featured in San Andreas, so it's no surprise that many theorized it could be found in this game, especially since there are many references to it, such as the mural located at Mount Chiliad in the cable car station, which shows the jetpack, at the very least as a reference to San Andreas. But that's not where this myth ends, because this jetpack thing is linked to the larger mystery of Mount Chiliad, which is one of the biggest mysteries in the whole GTA franchise that has spanned years of investigations. And many believed that the jetpack was in the game, hidden away somewhere on the map in a secret location. Kind of like the jetpack at Area 69 in San Andreas, but this time much more cryptic. But sadly it was never found. But in the actual code of the game, particularly in the 1.12 update, code was found for the jetpack, and sure enough it was eventually added to GTA Online in the Doomsday Update, in the form of the Thruster. Tongva Hill's Creature Said to be found roaming and stalking the area around Tongva Hills, this cryptid known as the Tongva Hills Creature is quite mysterious, in that there is no established look of the cryptid, although some believe it could be related to the Swamp Monster myth, and it's said to be most active at night and during stormy weather conditions. This myth was most likely created in regards to strange NPC deaths and sounds that occur in the area, which haven't been explained. Although it could simply be an NPC spawning glitch, and the sounds could be from other wildlife in the game. Alien Egg this is related to the aliens and the North Yankton creature we talked about earlier, although I saved this one for its own entry. Because, yeah, aliens are very much a thing in this game. From the actual alien found in North Yankton, to the many appearances and nods to UFOs in the game, to this very strange alien egg, which can be found in the water near the sonar docks, and actually appears to have been hatched. And similar to the jetpack, the alien egg is also part of the Mount Chiliad mystery, and was also something planned for GTA Online, as this egg is part of a hidden supply run mission which can happen randomly between the hours of 9pm and 11pm, after doing 600 total supply missions. In this mission, you have to take supplies from a crashed UFO, where an alien egg can also be found and there is even a hidden egg in Cayo Perico under the water. Bigfoot Of course I had to save the best for last, and most of you probably already know Bigfoot is in the game. It's not a myth, it's a full on easter egg, complete with a side mission. And it's a great nod to the myth hunting community. Once you reach 100% game completion, you get one final side mission, called the last one in which Franklin is tasked by a stranger who seems very reminiscent of a similar character in Red Dead Redemption to kill Bigfoot. However, the Sasquatch is really just a man in a suit. You can also briefly see Bigfoot in the mission Predator when zooming in with a scope, and there are many other references to him throughout the game. I mean, this is the most iconic myth we're talking about here. Also, remember that peyote plant easter egg I briefly mentioned? Yeah, I left a little something out for this part. You actually become Bigfoot. That's right. Once you complete the game to 100%, complete the last one side mission, and find a peyote plant on a Tuesday between 5.30 and 8 a.m. during foggy or snowy weather, I know this easter egg is pretty wild, you will become Bigfoot. Now, do this with all seven of the peyote plants, and you can fight the beast as Bigfoot. Really just one of the most wild easter eggs we've seen from Rockstar in my opinion. And that was it for this episode. A lot of cool spins on classic San Andreas myths here, and a lot of really cool nods and easter eggs by Rockstar. It has me really hyped to see what they do in terms of myths and easter eggs in GTA 6. 
Not too much else to say here other than thank you for watching, hope you found at least some of these interesting, and also look out for the next part of the Lost Media Iceberg series coming soon, that one's a doozy, and the next video coming after that. Also, if you haven't seen any of my other Gaming Myth videos, check those out. We did GTA 4, San Andreas, and Mario 64. Anyways, this has been me, Sourcebrew, and I'll see you all with the next one. Peace.